It's your boy, Sir Splash. Say you gon' beat Splash, put it on the Bible. Whole game's trash, boy, put it on a cycle. Money talks when you talk, really, I don't understand. Said he wants smoke, but they all do the running man. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Sir Splash, and today we have a uh, fan requested video from What If series. Uh, I do know that Comics Explained, I believe, has made this video before and covered it, but uh, I'm going to do it a little differently as well as, you know, I don't consider me and Comics Explained very similar in respects to anything outside of simply covering comics. Uh, he doesn't power scale, doesn't believe in power scaling, so uh, my content is definitely different than his. But anyways, so today's video essentially is what if Hulk obtained a red lantern? What would this entail? So, uh, most people know, um, a majority of you know, Hulk's backstory, Bruce Banner, hit by Gamma, becomes a rage-infused beast. Uh, we also happen to know he was always kind of pissed off, especially due to his father uh, treating him like trash when he was a kid. So this grants Hulk several abilities, which includes uh, strength based on his rage. That also amplifies the matter he gets. He, he also has an uh, insane healing factor, even recovering from getting literally reality thrown at him, losing like 90% of his body mass. Uh, he's been impaled several times through the brain and other major organs, he had his flesh ripped off. Several things, as well as his mental resistance due to the rage of the Hulk. It's very hard to even combat him mentally, uh, especially when we saw like World War Hulk Professor X was like, yeah, I really don't want smoke with him inside his mind. It's pretty much impenetrable. Um, so this makes Hulk durable across multiple fronts. It's simply hard to take him down in any aspect. You know, oftentimes for the comic book readers that are casual, they think Hulk's resistances are just physically not the case. The Raging Beast um, scales across different areas of durability. Uh, also, he has obviously increased speed. He can compete with the higher tier characters in terms of speed like Sentry and Thor. A lot of people like to downplay and say, oh, they just slug it out with him. But he still has to react to these characters, um, including the likes of Silver Surfer. Um, he has things like the Thunderclap, which knocks opponents off balance. He can actually absorb uh, energy to a degree, give off radiation, his gamma radiation which can even threaten planets at uh when he's at stronger power levels so yeah hulk hulk's already a monster and just his baseline without this red lantern situation now here's the here's the thing i want people to think about um which wasn't i don't think it was touched on by comics explain i don't usually see it touched on by people that do this what if um atrocitus when he acquired the red lantern ring he's pretty much the strongest red lantern um, consistency wise at least he was just an alien when he got the red lantern ring meaning we didn't see him do anything wild prior to this so like his base form prior to the red lantern amp was just you know humanoid he was probably stronger maybe low meta human in terms of actual physical strength and so this is important because hulk is coming from hulk form to achieve the red lantern form so it is very likely he could possibly be like millions of times stronger than an atrocitus who's capable of competing with multiple red lanterns at the same time um he was thrashing apollo uh, and handling even martian manhunter new 52 with Stormwatch. uh he can get away from characters like supergirl and so when you when you take that aspect and consider if the amp is, if it's a multiplier and not just in addition um, this could be insane for the level of power we see hulk achieve what i mean by this is let's say a red lantern ring puts you at level 100 you start off at level 50 so you only get 50 extra but if it's a 100 times multiplier and you have 50 your power gets up times 100 which is obviously a massive difference uh, hashtag basic math but anyways so hulk outside of this potentially massive power amp uh, he would receive several other aspects. He would he would achieve flight, uh, which is scary as hell for someone like Hulk. If you've read the Space Punisher Hulk series, uh, which is a video I contributed to for um, my boy Chuck, if you want to go check it out. Uh, flying Hulk is scary as hell to look at. So he'd be able to fly. Um, he would have shield. So on top of his natural durability, um, he would actually have light construct shields. And he would be able to use these light constructs to power blast. 
Um, these, like some of the Red Lanterns, a lot of them actually can't make, uh, you know, intelligent slash sophisticated light constructs. Usually it's only Atrocitus that someone does this. They just usually use it for power blasts. But even then, um, the power generated behind this for Hulk would be impressive. Um, he also would be able to use the vomit of the blood of the Red Lanterns. We saw Atrocitus when he was looking for Stormwatch and his cat. Um, he tore open space with the vomit, literally tore the fabric of space to get into the bleed to attack Stormwatch. So he's literally tearing open space with his vomit. So Hulk with this is just ridiculous, as well as I do believe Hulk would be multiple times stronger than Atrocitus due to what baseline Hulk is coming from. Now here's something also I don't see people talk about that's very interesting. The Red Lantern ring is different from the other rings in that it becomes your heart. So when your heart is full of rage, which is what would happen with Atrocitus because his family was slaughtered, his heart was transplanted by the Red Lantern ring, which is why you, know, you see the Red Lantern power becoming his literal blood, which leads to the vomit and stuff. So while he gets multiple times stronger, you kind of have to wonder if this actually makes Hulk weaker in the way that if you remove his heart, you could kill him because the Red Lantern ring heart, if it's removed, the user dies. It's not like the Green Lantern ring where you're just depowered. You actually die because it's become your heart. So this very well may give Hulk a significant um, disadvantage that he didn't have before because he can usually heal from major wounds to major organs like it's nothing. But because of this newfound um, complication of having it replace his heart, it very well could leave him vulnerable. However, um, I think it would be fair to say it's quite possible he would just tank it in the way that his um, he has the healing factor from his base form. Quite possibly that could lead over to just being amplified so that if you remove the lantern core, he could either regrow it, which I don't know if that's ever happened. Correct me down below if it has. Pretty sure it hasn't though. And then, or he would just tank it, go back to being Hulk. Not sure, Mortal Hulk definitely would in my opinion. But anyways, so another thing, I, th I think he would be um, one of the smarter Red Lanterns, probably at least Atrocitus level. A lot of them are mindless raging beasts, but Hulk himself um, over the years has maintained this level of rage and some sort of sentience slash intelligence and has even achieved high intelligence as Hulk as evidence to World War Hulk where he was free thinking because Bruce Banner and Hulk had like mind similar rage so he was able to have the intellect somewhat of Bruce Banner who's an absolute genius one of the smartest in uh, the Marvel comics so he could very well not only have multiple times the power amp but still retain some intelligence would make him an absolute freak now the question is would you prefer Hulk to have like World War Hulk level intelligence and um, that kind of power, but not have as much raw power as a mindless raging Hulk. It's kind of like, which one do you think is more important? I would probably lean towards the intelligence aspect. A lot of people aren't gonna beat him if he's smart with this power amp, instead of just a little more power, but not as smart. Um, but anyways, so I definitely do think Hulk would be the strongest of the Red Lan the baseline Red Lantern Corps, which would include Atrocitus. Now we've seen Atrocitus even rip Guardians of the Universe apart. So giving this level of power to Hulk is insane. Um, in terms of who do I think he would beat in Marvel, I always tend to lean towards Thor if Thor lets loose having an advantage over Hulk, but Red Lantern Hulk would slap the shit out of Thor. Um, he'd slap the shit out of Silver Surfer. I could definitely see him even being a threat to characters like uh, Galactus. Possibly even higher depending on um, if you use the Red Lantern ring as an actual classic multiplier um, but anyways let me know what you think down below if you want more of a storyline with hulk receiving the red lantern ring um let me know down below again i don't know if um it would affect his actions as much because he's always dealt with such a high level of rage it very well could but i'm not convinced otherwise but you know we could we would probably see something along the lines of world war hulk where he receives it during that ultimate rage uh, portion of a story. And uh, he's probably gonna murk everybody. He'd probably kill Sentry. Void might come out and kill him, or he might kill the Void, I don't know. Like I said, th this really depends on if you think the Red Lantern Hulk. Red Lantern is a multiplier. Now, what I'm gonna do after this video, um, I might make a part two. 
later down the line in which I completely cover the Red Lanterns, history of the power levels of the Red Lanterns, and see if we could make it a multiplier for Hulk. Anyways, let me know what you think down below. Um, like, subscribe, comment, join my Patreon. Please join it, at least the $5 game. It comes with a bunch of perks. I'll make an individual Patreon video soon. But uh, yeah, link in the description. Please join that. Let me know if you join and you will join my Discord server specifically made for Patreon. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. It's been your boy Sir Splash, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.